What is up guys, Boldu here, bringing you another Wi-Fi battle. This one is a multi-battle that I had on my live stream Saturday, yeah, Saturday morning. Um, and this is with just three, three random viewers, Tank, Rocker, and Raul. Um, I'm paired up with Tank, as you can see, and the Pokemon I chose, Rotom, you know, the maid, a new member, uh, too spooky for you, the Gengar, the perfect Gengar. It's my first six IV Pokemon, and I was pumped to get that. And uh, and then I went with Wright the Talonflame. He chose Gudra, uh, Greninja, and Blastoise. And then Rocker and Raul up there have a pretty interesting team as well. So let's get this started. Um, this was my very first multi-battle ever honestly and it I thought it turned out to be uh, pretty pretty cool I lead off with the maid and the, my teammate tank leads off with his sh special fancy pants shiny Gudra and they lead off with a chinchino I, I couldn't say it the entire time and I still can't say it I don't know chinchino and skeptile and I have never fought a Chinchino before. I did not know what this thing was going to do. And whenever it pulled out the the skill link bullet seed, I was like, oh god. And I thought I was, I probably would have lived that with like one or two HP. But he got that crit on the end. So that just completely destroyed my Rotom. But the Leaf Storm was forced on Gudra that way. So I guess that's good. And he goes for the Flamethrower on the Skeptile almost takes it out and I go into right just to wreak some havoc uh, with that gale wings um, but Ra Raul withdraws Skeptile and goes into Gardevoir he was like okay so the acrobatics instead of killing Chin um, Skeptile hits that Gardevoir and then this Chinchino pulls out a rock blast which I was not expecting it to have and I was like it's a skill link but I, I didn't know what it was going to have. Like I said, I had never fought one. And that just destroys right. Flamethrower comes out again and kills Gardevoir. So at least the acrobatics did help do that. And so I'm already down to my last Pokemon. Too spooky for you. And I'm feeling really bad because <laughs> I'm about to get wiped out while my teammate over here hasn't hardly been touched. But Rule goes into Scizor and Megas right away. And uh, I, I pull back into a substitute because I'm not sh quite sure what's going to go down. Chinchino uses Rock Blast on me again. I'm like, alright, this thing, this thing is making me mad. It takes out my substitute after the second one. So I'm going to be I'm sitting here getting hit by the last three. And that is doing lots and lots, I mean, overall, lots of damage. And then again with the crit at the end, uh, Gudra goes with the Flamethrower again <laughs> to take out this scissor this guy had a pretty pretty bad weakness to fire as you can see but that's the mega's out as soon as he came in bringing his skeptile back in um and goes for the detect i guess just to stall out for a little bit more i go for the disable so this thing can't rock blast anymore leaving him with bullet seed and tail slap which, if he goes for the bullet seed on me, he's not going to do much damage. So, um... And I go ahead and sledge bomb this Skeptile just to get it out of here, just so it's not annoying. <laughs> when I, sh I probably should have used it on the, uh, the Chinchino, but... Whatever, he didn't attack me. He goes for the Tail Slap on Gudra. So not only is he getting the Gooey every time he hits, this Gudra has a Rocky Helmet on. So, as you'll see all five hits he gets a speed drop from Gooey and damage taken by the Rocky Helmet. I was like holy crap this is just like he's he's doing work to Gudra but Gudra is just giving it right back without having to attack. But uh here you'll see he does actually take out uh Tank's Gudra but not without almost killing himself so at least there was a uh, a hefty toll there but yeah uh, tank tank brings out his uh, fancy pants shiny Greninja all three of his Pokemon are shiny 
Mr. Show Off over here. <laughs> and uh, he withdraws, Rocker withdraws his uh, Chinchino and goes into a Shedinja. And uh, Greninja, if I remember correctly, cannot hit the Shedinja. Uh, I was not expecting him to switch out, so I was going for the Sludge Bomb there. Um, which, because of Wonder Guard, couldn't do anything. I'm not quite sure what my uh, partner Tank was trying to do. Like, he stays in and just keeps trying to hit it. Uh, maybe he forgot what type it was to, and just wanted to see what all it did or if any of his moves could hurt it. Uh, I went into the substitute, as you can see there, because I didn't... I, I was I was predicting the ghost move, but um, I knew I would be faster than it. So then I go for the disable so he can't do that anymore. <laughs> And now it is pretty much over for this Shedinja. I can uh, safely Shadow Ball it, and of course, like most Shedinjas, it does turn out to be Focus Sashed. I, I was starting to think that my, my partner was like predicting either me to take it out quicker than I did with the Shadow Balls, and he would just hit uh, the next Pokemon coming in. Or predicting, trying to predict a switch. I, I'm not quite sure, but there he uh, withdraws Greninja. He goes into his shiny Blastoise, and uh, this Shadow Ball takes out the Shedinja, and he is down to two Pokemon left. And I completely forgot that he had two Pokemon left. To be honest, um, he go, he switches in a Gliscor. I'm like, all right. And his is a shiny Gliscor. I feel like I feel like I'm the only one who doesn't own a shiny at this point. <laughs> but he switches out like immediately to go into his uh, Chinchino for whatever reason, which I forgot was even alive. I thought it, it, it had it was dead, and that Gliscor was the last full one. But no, um, he might have switched it in just to eat up that Shadow Ball. I'm not quite sure. But either way, the Water Pulse from Mega Blastoise takes it out. And now it's just down to uh, his Gliscor. And uh, there's really nothing he can do, as you guys probably know as well. A, a Gengar and Mega Blastoise versus Gliscor. Uh, Gliscor loses on this. So I hit it with another Shadow Ball. Gliscor uh, comes back with a an Earthquake. Too spooky for you is not going to get hit by that. It does minimal damage to Blastoise, and that Water Pulse just takes it right out. Um, and that that is the game. It was really fun doing this uh, multi-battle, and it was really fun live streaming too. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed that battle, and there will be more to come, so we will see you in the next one.